Yo, what is going on, my peeps? And thanks for checking out this video today. As you guys can see, we got unexpected Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl news, as well as Pokemon Arceus news as well. Unexpectedly, this morning, I just woke up and I saw the news from an email from the Pokemon company. I got an email, I was like, no way. And I saw the troll, I was like, what? And I checked Cerebi right here on the website, and they have it too. It's like, we just got new news put out. Like, it was like, it was on the DL, man. It's down low. Secret news. It's a new trailer. So I want to go ahead and, um, you know, check out this trailer for you guys and kind of do a small breakdown so we can check it out, see what they got, the new stuff, and then check out Legend Arceus too because I saw a little bit of the Diamond, Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl video, not going to lie, but I didn't see anything at the Arceus. So Arceus for sure would be a surprise and I want to break down this Diamond Pearl video for you guys. So let's go ahead and check it out and see what we got today. And oh my god, I'm super excited. Let's see. News. That's what we want. We want the news. Okay, so look, we just start off. Let me get this out of the way. All right, so we got the three Pokemon there. What is it? A uh, Stunky, Big right? Stunky, Buzel, and Glammeow. And uh, they, look, they look pretty nice. I can't lie, they look pretty damn nice. It's like, look, look at these graphics. How they look? It just looks nice and polished. Like, jeez. And though, okay, so Dawn's fishing. She's fishing there. And I do. What I really hope is that we can get Chain Fishing back, like Shiny Hunt for Pokemon. You know, Chain Fishing would be lit. But, um, you know what? Actually, you know what? I I'm kind of doing it wrong. Let me play, little, let me let the whole video play, and then afterwards we'll go back and, uh, and then check it out. Dude, the graphics look so sick, though. Oh my god. So we got the Poke Edge. The Poke Edge is back. Look at that. And it's in the corner. It's in the corner of the screen. Yo, it looks so nice and polished, and she's she's looking, she's using to find um items, and look, it has HMs. It says use hidden moves. Dude, oh my god, what? He's on the freaking Pidoof, a B barrel. What? Even rock climbs. It has Poffin, so you can make your Poffins. That's a time. It lets you know how much time it takes to make. This is okay. Emily Square. All oh my god! All six up to six. Your whole party. No, this looks so nice and polished. So good and polished. Okay, so who's character? Sh Cheryl. He turned to forest. Yo, oh my god. That looks so good. Okay, this is um Riley, that's his name. I forgot his name, Riley. So they show double battles. Yeah, we're gonna do a breakdown soon. Gym. This is the um grass, the grass gym. Uh, what what is it? Cheryl, right? Gardenia. That's Cheryl. I just saw Cheryl. Gardenia. I'm stupid. Turn to our gym leader. Turn to city. Oh, this game is so sick, dude. It looks so nice and polished. Like it got me so baffled. I'm forgetting names and everything, dude. It's like, God damn, I need to go play, go go and play these games again. Nice. We're almost there, my peeps. Almost there. About like a month and a half. Alright, so I'm gonna go back and do like a small breakdown now. So beginning news. Let me see. Is there anything hidden in these pictures? I just showed Emily Square, the HMs. This is um right before right before the um the Ironworks place, right? And then. I think that's a coffin case on the top left. Or something. Coffin. Rock climbing on the top. And then it's a gym on the on the top left. Looks like in the bottom left is like the a battle on the force and then the bottom right is the, I think Amity Square making the coffins again. Something. And then those are some of the, the trainers. Um Gardenia, Riley, Riley and Dawn in the cave on the top left, and then Cheryl on the top right in the forest. 
This looks so good though. Oh my god. Okay. So yeah, I was talking about before in the beginning. That with the fishing. I really hope we get chain fishing because that'll be so lit for like another um shiny hunting method. I don't s I I kind of see them doing it back to like kind of like make up for all like you know the the mess of like uh shiny um hunting methods that we have from the um from the previous games like not previous game but um Pokemon Storm Pokemon Shield you know for me they it seemed like the wild encounters for like shiny is like it's all broken you know it's really broken and um I think only Masuda really works the best and then um Pokemon Sword and Shield so I'm really hoping they put more um Pokemon shiny hunting methods in these games for sure you know I I'll wait until we get to for the other part but I'm, I'm really hoping we get chain fishing okay so there's the tree in that um. Now flower, fl fl floral, or fl I can't even say it, you know, fl 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 floral, floral, town. I can't even, I don't even know, I can't even speak. But that town, you know, where the, 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 the lady gives you the, um, which the uh, flower for a shaman form. This is the little town right here. This looks like a honey tree, cause it's kind of golden. So like, it looks like you can do, um, honey trees. Yeah, cause it's a cumby. So like you can spread honey again. And, um, I, I find, uh, cumbies. That was a female cumby, by the way. That has a little mark on its head. See? It's a little mark. Right here, that's the best one for a female one. So yeah, Vespa Queen, right? Right on. Um, and then right here, the Poke Edge. We get the freaking Poke Edge, my peeps. Look at that, and she looks freaking nice and polished. And what I was gonna say, look, even all oh, this looks really, really like polished. It's like, oh my god, like, like what? Like, dude, it's like because these aren't like um, normal sprites anymore. Like the, like the regular games before, like before these games, how I had like the. The pixelated sprites, these aren't pixelated sprites anymore. These are the actual 3D polygons that they use as sprites for the Pokemon. So I guess it's kind of like, it's, I would say it may, maybe takes up less space in the game because they're not making these, these little sprites, the pixelated sprites. They're using all the 3D models and, they, you know, they're just changing the size of it and fit it into what they need, need to fit it. So it looks, it looks really good like that. They look really polished. I mean, the roundness, the roundness of this guy, Rampardo, that's that kind of throws me off almost like a Tyranitar, he looks really round too. I don't really like the roundness because 3D, but um, besides that though, dude, this looks really sick. It looks clean as hell. Look at that. And I like it because it's on the it's on the screen. So what it seems like they had other, other shots before the game where this, the Pokedex was on the top corner. It seems like um it's gonna be toggled on and off. So whenever you want it to be on screen, you could toggle it on. Use whatever features you want, and this red button is to um, go through the features that the Pokedex has, like you know the Thousand Machine, and um, and like your wild encounters, like not not wild encounters, but the tracker, you know, like there's a tracker that keeps count of how many Pokemon you encounter, like as a chain, and that's perfect for the Poke Radar. So what I was saying is, with this Pokedex, it kind of almost confirms not because they're keeping they're keeping these games almost like very one to one, almost one to one. It has basically all the features of the older games plus new ones. Of, of Diamond and Pearl. So what it seems like so far with the with the inclusion of the Pokedex where they finally showed us now is we're like 99% going to have the Poke Radar, and of course that's gonna be an awesome way to shiny hunts. I love Poke Radar. I've done I've done it. I actually done it in X and Y first. And I had hella good luck with that. And I got the, I got the, the hang of it because when when Diamond and Pearl first came out, you know, I was a kid. You know they had Poke Radar. I didn't really know how to actually use the shiny hunt. But as I got older and I played X and Y, it was the same Poke Radar, I got the hang of it. And then I actually went back into Platinum after playing X and Y and I did Poke Radar and it was actually easy. I actually understand how to do it, it's not that hard. So with this um, Poke Edge now, they should have that the app in here that you use to track your chains of Pokemon. And that can really freaking help you with your um, Poke Radar hunts. And I can't wait because shiny hunting with Poke Radar is fantastic i love it it's gonna be a lot of a lot of methods um with masuda and poke radar and then when they show in dawn fishing at the beginning maybe that's a hint of chain fishing coming back in, into these games that we can shiny hunt for them so if they do that oh my god we're gonna have that would be so many ways to shiny hunt we can get a lot of a lot of shiny hunting um pokemon like i'll hunt for a lot of shiny pokemon as well as lots of content not for just me for anyone we can make lots of content with the shiny hunting these games but yeah, she's using Dowsing Machine to find the um the hidden item there. It was like blinking. Let's get back there real quick. Yeah, so right here, it was like it was like blinking and dot to let you know. Cause this this middle dot is basically where the player is right now. That's how this um item finder works, Dowsing Machine. And this dot's a hidden item and you have to like kinda move up until you're by and then you press A like, for hidden items. Alright, then here is uh 
Lucas, right? I think this is his Lucas. You see on the top right, it, it, in the Poke Edge, this is new. This is not an original Poke Edge. It has a, a, an app called Hidden Moves, and it shows the hidden moves you have. So what it seems like is um, you don't have to keep going in your bag because I don't... It, it, See, they're just kind of confusing because it doesn't show you, it doesn't tell us 100%. The the character, he's not holding a Pokeball, so it's not showing us if it's his own Pokemon or if he's calling a wild Pokemon, like Poke Rides, to actually use the HM moves to um, cut, cut down this tree. But, just look, it cuts it down. And then Dawn is using a uh, Star Raptor to fly. So, yeah, and then. Um, uh, Bidoof is just surfing in the water and it has all these HMs here like in the game. It has Rock Smash, Cuts, Strength, Fly, Defog, and Surf. So like I said, it looks like almost just like an exact one-to-one -one remake of Dominant Pro, but with extra content, you know? So what I'm thinking is they're not, I, I think they're not going to be a wild Pokemon, but I think they're just going to be your own Pokemon that you have in your party, but it gives you quick access to use your HMs and stuff, keep going to the bag, pressing A on the Pokemon, then using the HM moves. This makes it like really streamlined and you can just, you know, go through the game a lot better. They keep going in your bag and your party or whatever and clicking on a Pokemon and use HMs. This is way more streamlined. So that's what it looks like. Now they got Rock Climb. So they got Rock Climb and Waterfall as well. Let's go back real quick. Come on, go back. Wait, it's past. Okay, so right here, perfect. So we got, so it's sitting, like I said, it has like all the HMs from the, from the orig original games. Rock Smash, Cut, Strength, Fly, Fog, Surf, Rock Climb, and Waterfall. So. Like I said, it looks exactly like the original games with extra content, and I'm really excited because I love these games. One of my favorite games of all time, Fortune. So, many features, good story, and lots to do. Look at our rock con, it looks really nice. Like, everything just looks so polished. Like, I can't wait. Now, this is making Poffins, you know, I, I, I care more about like the gameplay, you know, Shiny Hunter, Wall Pokemon, and all this stuff. Poffins, I'm not into like the contest, but that's for contest people, so, you know, Poffins. And then here it is, Amity Square, like in the original games, could bring just one Pokemon out for, and it's only a certain a certain one Pokemon you could bring into Amity Square to walk around with, right? But in this new game, you could bring all your Pokemon that you have in your party. It doesn't matter what is it. It's not specific Pokemon. It's any Pokemon you have, because in these games, Pokemon can follow you. Any and any Pokemon can follow you. So it's cool that you can actually walk around with all sixty Pokemon at once in Amity Square. And then this is now is the turn of forest, and you meet Cheryl. And this, you would have to help her get through the forest because she needs help. She's kind of scared and whatnot. This is just the same in the original games. Helping her get through the forest in every battle. Let's go back. Peter's going a little fast for me. Uh, <laughs> um, every battle you in, in, encounter with her, let's see, they're going to be double battles. So the trainers going to be double battles with her, with you and her against them too. And even the wild Pokemon, it should be a double battle wild Pokemon like the original game. So instead of you just encounter one Wormtle, in, in the forest, when you're helping her get through the forest, you'll be encountering, like, it could be two Wurmples. It could be a Wurmple and a uh, Cascoon. It could be a, a Wurmple and a Ghastly. You know, Ghastly was in the original game when it was, like, I think, darker. So, yeah, so you can double, double, um, double wild encounters with Cheryl. And that's actually another good shiny hunting method early in the game. Because after you help her go through, you can't, um, go through the forest with her again to help her. You can't do double battles. So, beginning of the game, if you want to try shiny hunting in the forest for something, Perfect dude with her because you can um, battle two Pokemon at the same time. You'll, you'll be encountering two Pokemon at the same time. The only thing is, there's a catch with her. She's going to be helping you battle. So if you say you encounter a, a wild shiny Pokemon like in, in a double encounter, she will most likely attack the shiny Pokemon. Because she can, she'll be using attacks as well. So she can attack either the other wild Pokemon or she can attack the shiny. So that can be a very, very terrible shiny fail if she kills the shiny for you when you try to catch it. Because say you say you have it on low health and throw a Pokeball and, and it breaks out. She can attack it. That shiny's dead. It's gone. You lost your shiny because of her. So there's, there, there's, a, there's a lot of risk with it. But it's another shiny hunting met thing er, early in the game if you want to try to encounter. Just the dub, double Pokemon encounters. Again, this is Riley. This is in the um, Ironworks. Uh, yeah, no. Is it Iron, Iron, Ironworks? Uh, I can't remember the island, Ironworks Island or something. It's some some island that has you know. It's it's towards the top, top left of the map kind of, and kind of like next to the island where you find like Cresselia and stuff and Darkrai, yeah, hidden event or whatever. I don't know if they're gonna have Darkrai in the game. I really hope so. But yeah, this is the um that place, the island place, and if this is the same thing. It's gonna be double double wall um battles. See, they're just showing Cheryl going to double battle. See, it was a double wall Pokemon. 
then um, with Riley's the Team Galactic battle is uh, double double battles again. Uh, this is Lucas going into the gym, and look, the gym looks nice. It looks like the original gym from Dominant Pro, because Platinum had the gym where it was like a clock with two um, grass pedals moving around in circles. So it looks like this is a Dominant Pro gym um, design, which is fine. It's like a little maze, but it is fine. I'm excited for the games. I love uh, Rosarade. The game just looks really polished, like holy crap. I'm super excited for like, damn. That looks so good. I and mean, like I said, we're like a month and a half away, so. Super excited for that. I cannot wait for that. My peeps. Like, oh my god. <laughs> and then the next one I'm gonna check real quick is the Legend Arceus. I have not checked this one out, so I'll be going in blind with you as well. Let's check it out. I'm gonna watch the whole trailer first and then do a quick breakdown. Okay, that's an update. Alright. Explore the Sweden region while riding Pokemon. Okay. Master Legion. Okay. Flute. I wonder if that's how you, what you use. Oh, it looks just like a Legend of Zelda game. Oh my god. Oh, October looks lit. Look at this chill in there. Look for a ball in his face. A Munchlax. Oh, look, he looks so cute. I love the Munchlax. Bye. Is it from Yu Gi Oh? Not me. Yeah, a Munchlax is really cute. I love Munchlax. Ward? Place. I don't know. Okay, no, it might be the place. Warden or something. The end. But yeah, it looks just like a Legend of Zelda game. Like, holy crap. The Galaxy Team hairdresser. You could customize your trainer over there, I'm assuming. That looks like Mars. From, the Gal from Team Galactic. Almost like Mars. What the Insane. Jubilife Village. Customize your look. Take photos. Shop. Okay, so you can buy items there. Ooh, look at all those Pokemon's there. Okay. Yo. Look, some nice outfits. Don't look at the little croc on her head. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Okay, so you could take pictures of your Pokemon. That's a lit. Oh my god! That electrifier looks sick! What? Oh my god! Yo! Do I clap some cheeks? Oh! That's like a boss a Pokemon thing. Who is that? It looks like a sight there! Cleavor! It's a new Pokemon! That's a brand new Pokemon! It's a bug rock. Clevor. Clevor. I think it's Clevor. He's throwing a bag thing? Axe Pokemon. What? Oh, what is that? That's a brand new freaking Pokemon. Holy shit. Yo, let's go check this out. Oh my god. Yo, he almost had like a Scyther from the bottom. I wonder if it's gonna be like Scyther's um, Scissor's Evolution or a Scyther's um, Region Evolution. What the hell, dude? Yo, he actually looks pretty lit. We got Beautifly, Drif Drifloon, Basket Legion. He has a flute. Now, I don't know what that flute is, but it looks like, it looks like from the, the looks of it, it, looks like the flute might be able to like call a Pokemon to maybe ride. I thought that he was calling the, um, Stanter's the newest stamp evolution to come see to cut to come in on Poke Ride. No, that's what it looks like. I think you might have to like call on them for Poke Rides. Look at that. Ryan Basket Legion looks so li look at that. He just they're in the air and he just chucks the Pokeball at poor Actually when he's just minding his own business. Like, what? Oh my god, it looks lit, dude. And you could dive, you can like do like a slight dive with um Braviary, Sui and Braviary. Almost like soaring and Oros, like, like you kind of move them like that, like, do like a dive, like a boost and stuff. 
and speed. So my, so it says she will uh, protect our Pokemon or something. Meet the, meet the wardens who protect special special Pokemon. So they were war wardens, but they each had their own names. But their title, I guess, is war warden. But they protect special Pokemon. Now, what's that supposed to mean? What? I'm excited for this. Oh my god. I love that Munchlax. He's so cute. You feel kind of that you can lead your Pokemon in battle. Ooh. Munchlax is her, par is her partner. It doesn't need any Pokeballs. So maybe you could have fallen Pokemon? Maybe again? I don't know. Like a special Pokemon. Like help follow you or something. I guess maybe they have like a... um. High friendship? That's that's what I'm assuming. High friendship, they can follow you around like out of their Pokeball. Okay. Clevor, yeah, Clevor. Clever. I don't even know how to say it now. Let's say Cle uh, Clevor. Okay, here's another ward. It looks like Mars of Team Galactic. Okay. Study Clever. That was fine. What? But he's a uh, I'm a slow leader. Find the truth of this situation. Okay. That's insane, though. Brand new freaking Pokemon Clover. Holy shit. Because take photos, customize your look, shop, and more. So this in Jubilife Town. So that's like your, your, your hub. It has all these Pokemon. Hold on, let me see the Pokemon. Okay, so, so there's a Onyx. Uh, is that a Silcoon, Shellos, Abra, Geodude, Beautifly, Regular, Kanto, um, Rapidash, Star Raptor, Melcumby, Psyduck, Baneri, uh, Cricket, Cricket Todd, uh, Tangrowth, right? Tangrowth, Vespaquin, Sarly, Murkrow, Bidu, uh, Bidoof or B Barrel? I think it's a Bidoof. It looks a little bigger. Maybe B Barrel? Snorlax, Krongonk, Luxio, and Driftblade. And then you have these on the left Float Cell, which is, I guess, your team. Float Cell, L Lepunny, Pachirasu, Carnivine, Stunky. Now, Okay, okay, I was about to say, it looks like you can have five, but no, you can have six. The bottom one is empty. So, yeah. That, these are some Pokemon, I guess, confirmed so far in the game. And it's pretty nice. Like, I like, I like all the Pokemon. I love the designs, and they look, they look really, like, polished. Like, the games look really polished, which I'm excited for. Of course, these are going to look really nice if you play handheld on this Switch or LED, which I'm super excited for. Can't wait for those. Okay, so, like, these, you got different hairstyles she was doing. You got different, um, different outfits. Oh, I want, I want to check. You have a uh, uh, karate gi. Okay, so are, these are all karate gi. So I guess maybe different towns might have different um, styles or something. I don't know. But have like a, they have a white, a dark, a crimson, which is like a red. Daffodil and fine. Okay. And look at that. These look so nice. Like look how great those um, outfits are. Maybe we can make one look like Goku, right? An all orange one. Taking pictures here. You can have your Pokemon do different style um, poses. Right, I think it's the Pokemon. Yeah, because I think whatever pose you do, I think the Pokemon kind of like try copies or follows you. So you have arms folded, hands behind back, one arm out, arms open high, open low. Next, there's more. The initial was more, but yeah. So the Pokemon kind of caught like copies you almost like the style you do. Look at that! Oh my god, he looks so badass. Oh no, what did I do? I double click. Look at that Electivire. Oh my god. He's like, I mean business, mofo. Bring it on. And he looks like he has the red eyes. So it almost seems like like another like almost like shadowish Pokemon like um XD Gale of Darkness and Pokemon Coliseum. That'd be cool if they kind of inc incorporate something like that where the Pokemon kind of like rampages, but then you catch them and you calm them down. Almost like purifying. That'd be cool. Look at that. He means business. He got the red, red eye. Okay, okay, okay. That, that's kind of new. So it looks like the Cumbi, the startle Cumbi leaked leaped out at you so a lot like pokemon can be hidden in like bushes almost like um sun and moon right sun and moon pokemon's hiding in bushes and even trees and they can get, like swoop down and attack you so it looks like this this is what happened to, to the combi let's see yeah because the lapunny okay so this is a tree it's not even in bush the lapunny your your lapunny looks like it just um almost like a headbutt the tree and then the combi fell out so that's that's pretty cool the trees are hitting and i like, pokemon's are hidden in trees or, or bushes or whatever here look okay so here here's that new pokemon right here here's the icons of him drawing like almost like a picture mural whatever um of him clever i hate look he when when you show him before we didn't know what he was he like almost got like a he's suing form of like a farfetch or something right but no he's a brand new pokemon but he kind of reminds me of like a like a, um, a scyther honestly he's a bug type 
his helm's kind of like a similar shape to to a Scyther, but he's not a Scyther. Like I said, he, he might be a new evolution of Scyther, maybe, or maybe a legendary or something in these games. But look at him, he's running hella fast. He got speed. See, he looks he looks just like a Scyther at this bottom. He looks he looks like a golden Scyther at this at this angle. But um I, I, I'm thinking it's either like a Scyther, there's gonna be a Hisuian Scyther and Scyther that His Hisuian Scyther evolves into this, or maybe it's a brand new Scissors Scissor evolution. He looks very similar. Look at that. And he has things in his hands, almost like uh like an he's an axe. So Scyther has sight, Scissor is like scissors in his hands, and then he has axes for his hands. Like or, or he's holding axes. So that's what it seems like. That's what it seems like it's gonna be like an evolution. Or he's going to be in the evolution line for Scyther. But I could be completely wrong. I don't know. But that's what, that's what it seems like. He's also a bug type. But he's bug rock. And look at this. His title is Lord of the Woods. Bug Lord. So this, it looks like it's going to be something. Like either new legendaries or like these Pokemons that have like more lore to them. Like they might not be legendary. They just might be like a lore to them. But it looks lit. It's insane. Battle Clover. The bug rock noble Pokemon. Yeah, he's like, he's like the, like a lord, like the boss of the force. That's insane, dude, look at him. He means business. But he used a new move, I think, right? Stone Axe. That's a brand new move, Stone Axe. This is insane, man. That is lit. Wait, so that's his real color, that's his real color. Pause it. That's, that's how he really looks when he's not golden. He's like a dark... Like, like brown. He's an all brown color, but he's a he's a bug rock. And that's what I'm saying. It it's so it looks similar to a scyther, but you really don't know. Well, I think it I think it has something to do with a scyther. I really do think it has something to do with a scyther. He's a he, he is he's a rock type. And look his hand. I don't think those axes or comes out of his hand. I think it's all part of his hand, like axe. So it will make sense with scythor, scissor, and then this axe hand Pokemon Clevelor. Oh my god, even ends with OR! Scyther? But the Scyther's ER. Scizor. OR. And Clevor. Clevor. OR. It makes sense now. Holy shit. Yo, if, if, I, if, if I made that call, props to me, right? Dude, I think, I think it is. That's it, that's the end of the trail. I think that is what it is, my peeps. Oh my god. That is sick! Holy crap, my peeps! Oh, I'm I'm super hyped for these games. I can't wait. What, whatever you guys see in this video, please let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what your favorite thing of this of this video, what your favorite thing you saw from either games or even board both games, and let me know what you're most excited for when these games are released. Or what you're gonna be doing for, doing in the game? Are you be shiny hunting, just being the game, post games. Let me know. I appreciate you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and the content. I appreciate a like. And if you're new, hit the subscribe button as well. I appreciate it. All the support, thank you guys so much. It means the world to me. You guys take care and have a great rest of your day. I appreciate your support.